Hi, welcome back to 3G Kitchen. Today we're going to be making porcupine meatballs in the Instant Pot. I've got my six quart Instant Pot here, and uh, I've turned it to saute mode, and I've got two quarts, no, I'm sorry, two tablespoons of oil heated up in here. Uh, I've cut up two medium sized onions, we're going to use half of this uh, for our sauce. This is what we're building up here. About half. And I've got four cloves of garlic. And I'm going to use about half of that too. And we're just going to saute this for about five minutes or so until the onions are translucent. We just want to keep stirring it around for about the next five minutes or so just to get it. Um, <clears throat> we're not going for brown here, just uh, cooked and soft and um, looking for it to be translucent. Okay, it's been about five minutes. You can see it's starting to be translucent. We're getting a few of those brown bits in the bottom. That's real good. That'll really add to the flavor later. Okay, we're going to start building up our sauce. And uh, as always, the recipe and instructions will be in the description below. Uh, we're going to add to our onions and garlic one cup of water. And 30 ounces, or about three cups, of tomato sauce. We're going to give this a stir, and we're going to allow that to come up to a simmer. And while we do that, we're going to make our meatballs. Alright, so we're going to add our re reserved garlic. Our onions. We have one teaspoon of pepper, two teaspoons of salt, two tablespoons of Lee and Perrins. Now, I'm not getting sponsored by them, um, but that word there, what kind of sauce this is, I can never say it. Now, if Lee and Perrins is watching you want to be a sponsor, contact me, please. Two tablespoons of that, and one cup of long grain rice. Here's the dirty part. There's no better way to mix this up than with your hands. So take off your rings, wash your hands, and dig in. And we're just going to work this with our hands, getting everything really well mixed together here. Squishing between your fingers, the whole bit. <clears throat> now, uh, we want our sauce to be um, simmering when we add our meatballs. And we're just going to add them in there just a single layer at a time and if if it if they stack up on top of it and one another that's fine too um, you can use a scoop um, as I'll do uh, they come in all different sizes um, this scoop is actually a little bit too small for what I'd be using but you want to make them about an inch to an inch and a half maybe about the size of a ping pong ball uh, I think they're pretty well mixed now we'll just start forming our meatballs so we're just going to take our scoop, make a good sized scoop there, roll it around to a ball. You know, and if they vary a little bit, that's fine. You know, that's part of the character of, of good meatball stuff, right? Different, a little bit different sized meatballs. And uh, the quick time's long enough that it'll, it'll cook it all the way through, you know, if, if you have some that are maybe two inches or so. But, you know, an inch, an inch and a half, that's pretty good. So there we go. You just want to get it to about that size nice and round and uh, we'll go ahead and oh looks like our sauce is about simmering here so uh, we'll take out our our stir stick and uh, we'll go ahead and start placing our meatballs in here all right we've got all our meatballs in there now we're going to put the lid on Set it to sealing. We're going to turn it off of saute mode. Uh, turn it to meat slash stew and set it for uh, 15 minutes. There we go. We're going to let it do its thing and I'll see you back in a few minutes. All right. Timer's just gone off. We're going to go ahead and uh, do a quick release. We're going to rotate our switch to venting. I'm going to throw a towel on it. Throw a towel on it like I always do, just so you can hear me keep talking. <clears throat> now, 
<clears throat> in this one, I did use two full pounds of meat. You can half this recipe, uh, no problem. Uh, it makes about a dozen meatballs halved, or two dozen meatballs uh, for um, the two pounds like I did. And that's roughly eight servings for um, the full recipe and four servings for the half recipe. We'll just let this come down in temperature. Okay, our steam indicator is just dropped down, letting us know we can remove our lid. Now we can just spoon out our meatballs. I like to serve them on a bed of rice like this, or you can just eat them plain. Just kind of gently scoop them out there. There you have it. One of uh, my wife's favorites from childhood, porcupine meatballs. And as always, have a great day, enjoying great food from a great God.